hello, hello, and welcome back. My name's Jason, and this is Jason's General. Um, draft number two of Blur Bloomboro. Whenever a bat you control attacks, you gain one life. When, whenever this enters or attacks, you may pay two and two life. When you do return target an online permit with many of the three or less from your gave her to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell of her ability, you control for the first time each turn. Mice control get plus one plus one until end of turn. <sighs> As an additional cost to the spell. Destroy target creature. Um, I'm going to try this out. This seems pretty cool. Could be, could be a mistake. I don't know. Rabbit mouse. Target creature gets plus one and plus one until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Yeah, rabbits seem interesting, I must say. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature control gets plus X plus O, where X is the... This is power. Lizard Rogue. Um... I think I'm just gonna go for this rabbit for now. This deals six damage to one target creature and two up to one target creature token. That also seems good. I'm gonna go for that. Oh, it's five mana. Oh shoot. <laughs> so we get your end step. If you gain life this turn, each opponent loses one life. At the beginning of your end step. If you gain Okay. Wish I took the rabbit now, but whatever. It was a It was a two mana rabbit. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life and lost if you gained and lost life this turn. Oh, this is great. This is just phenomenal. You turn up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two. We have a rat rogue. Lizard rogue. Where are all the bats at? Destroy target creature with power four or toughness four or greater. I mean, this is probably okay. Although it does seem like Whenever this enters, when this enters, and when you sacrifice it, create a one-one rabbit creature token. I think I'm just gonna go for carrot cake. When this enters, and when you sacrifice it, create a one-one rabbit. Nelgard. Okay, wait. Rat, rat warlock. Whenever this enters, mill three cards. When you do target creature and opponent controls, gets plus X plus X, where X is the greatest mana value among creature cards in your graveyard. Rat Rogue, whenever this creature enters, target opponent loses through life unless they sacrifice a non-token permanent or discard a card. Deals 4 damage to target attacking, blocked or blocked creature. When it enters the battlefield, it becomes a spell of a target ability. Gets plus O. Uh, let's just go with this. I think Wix Patrol is pretty decent. Surveil two, then draw two cards. You lose two life. Whenever this becomes the target of a spell or an ability for the first time each turn, mice control get plus one plus O. Oh. There's a lot of those. Lizard assassin. When sent to the battlefield, the one we counter if an opponent lost life this turn. This gains medicine till end of turn. Four three for three. Um. Let's just go low to the floor. Let's try this. When this becomes the target of a spell of ability, blah, 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 blah. We can just go aggro. Target creature gains plus two, plus oh, and gains lifelink and indestructible and, and, and to end a turn. I like life gain. How many non-creature spells do we have? I'm just going to go for the little, I don't know. This seems good too, but I'm just going to go for the little, 
little guy for now. Since it's battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature control without flying. Um, when this enters, enters, target creature you control gains flying until end of turn. I guess I'll just take this guy. I'm not really sure. Sacrifice this. Look at the top six cards of library. You may reveal a bat, bird, mouse, rabbit card from among them. Put it in your hand. So it can find our Zora lane, which seems pretty good. I think we go for that. But the other... Having two of these doesn't seem too bad either. Creatures control. Oh, we wield the card that we wanted anyway. This 1 1 Menacer doesn't seem too bad either. But let's just take this two drop. Continue to be aggressive and hopefully see some bats. We haven't seen a single bat yet, so. Oh, uh. Turn up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two. Perfect. Seems great for us. Alright, I'll take the one with Menacer now, I think. Oh, this creates rabbits as well? Huh. Oh. Alright, here's the Menacer now. This card seems like it's probably decent, honestly. Create X, X tokens that are copies of target token you control. Those tokens gain an indestructible in your turn. You gain a life for each token you control. That's fun. Um, at the beginning of a combat in your turn, you may forge. When you forge, put a one counter on this. Um, when this enters the battlefield, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Okay, so there's a nice little bat card. Target creature you control gets plus two until in turn. If this gift was promised, gains indestructible. Crumb and get it seems good. Um, at the beginning of your first main phase, add red or green for each raccoon you control. Whenever you expend four, blah, blah, blah. This card seems fun too. Um, yeah, let's just go with the uh, the flyer here. This becomes the target of a spell of ability you control for the first time. Tap target creature and opponent controls. When this attacks while you control a token, gets plus two plus zero. Oh. Token. I guess we're probably we're hoping to have some tokens. I also like the idea of just doing these pump spell things. Um, so maybe we just take Mouse Trapper. I don't know. I'm just gonna take the load. I'm just gonna stay low to the floor. I think. Beginning of your end step, if you gained or lost life this turn, surveil one. We got a little black bat cleric. Biet cleric, another castrol. I like. I really like this idea of just going nice and low, though. Nice and low to the ground. Okay, we need some non-creature spells. So let's keep that in mind. Destroy target creature. If the gift wasn't promised, you lose two life. What's the gift? Gift of food. In this end of the battlefield, put a one-one counter on each other squirrel and/or food you control. Whenever another squirrel or food you control enters, put a one counter on this. Nice. When this enters the battlefield, tap. This card was pretty good. I played with it in another draft. Um, okay. Uh, I want to crumb and get it, to be honest, but I guess we just take the hard removal. Untap target non-land permanent. When this attacks, untap target non-land permanent. That's pretty good. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. Create a food. I like that a lot. Crumb and get it. Crumb and get it would be good. Would be good. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may discard a card. Non-creature spells cast one less to cast. Whenever your sorcery deal non combat See, this would be perfect for our last deck, our first deck of the format, where we um, where we had the untapped tapper because it would have dealt three damage per turn on level three. Stargazer. Look at the top X cards. This on top of your library, put X cards from among them into your hand, and the rest in the graveyard, you lose X life. This is just a bat, so I want it. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses a life. K 
can't block. You can make an offspring. Yeah, this uh, like Golgari bone bind card seems phenomenal, but that's not where we're at. So does the battlefield target of when this enters, choose target opponent. If they lost life this turn, they reveal their hand. You choose a non-land card from it, and they discard that card. Otherwise, they discard a card. Seems great. See, this deck is this is deck is good. XL target creature. So I guess mice are like Rakdos, or uh, sorry, but um, Boros. All right, I guess XL target creature seems reasonable. For some reason, I have a feeling that removal might be bad in this format, though, or like not bad, but like just kind of whatever. Target opponent discards two cards. I don't know. Let's take this uncommon. Sugar Strike deals four damage to target attacking, blocking, or tapped creature. You gain three life if you control a bat. Seems good. <sighs> I want to have any color. It's a two one. Sure. Doesn't seem bad. 3-3 three, three that untaps. Ooh, Rotten Mouth Viper. An additional cost to this as an additional cat uh, a cost to cast a spell you may sacrifice any number of non-land permanents. This spell costs one less cast for each permanent sacrifice this way. Whenever it enters or attacks, put a blight counter on it, then for each blight counter on it. Each opponent loses four life and that player sacrifices non permanent discards a card. Definitely taking the rat. Or the <laughs> the snake. Hundred percent. Um, obviously next in contention would just be Fell. Target opponent exiles a card from their hand if the spell is cast from the graveyard. Draw a card. Yeah, take the, uh, take the Rotten Mouth here. Uh, Starfish Sword. Whenever this enters, if, it, if a gift was promised, attach it to a target creature you control. Crypt creature gets plus three, plus three, and loses flying. Flying double strike vigilance, bird knight. So, that's pretty good. As long as there are four more card types from one card exiled, it gets four plus four. This card seems great. I think the sword seems pretty cool too, but. Um, let's take the strike force. Bat Warlock. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library and you put that card in your hand, you lose life equal to its mana value. I think that's good. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life, gained or lost life this turn, target opponent loses the life unless they sacrifice an all impermanent. Um, we might wheel that. I kind of want to just take it. I don't know if it's better than this. It's close. I feel like it could be better. Target opponent reveals a hand. You choose an online card from it. Exile that card. If the gift was promised, you may, you may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's probably not that good in this type of style of format. Because unless you're going up against an archetype that works with yours, it doesn't really do much for you, right? Batbird. Whenever another creature you control enters, you gain a life. So I'm kind of thinking I cut a lot of the expensive stuff considering what an interesting format uh, whenever this enters create a colorless what are we even taking here 
One of these enters created colorless equipment, blah, 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 whatever. Um, it enters, you may mill two cards. Whenever this enters, draw a card. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has flying. Uh, create a wall. Whenever one or more non creature non land permits you control, enter. Put a one counter in target creature control. Whenever this becomes returned, target non land. Okay, to the battlefield. This could be interesting, I'm sure. Uh, hmm. Not sure if I wanted to take that or not, but scales. I guess we'll decide if we want to play that card. Target opponent exiles a card from their hand. Probably take another carrot cake. This card seems great. All right. Nice. Wield the the bat. So, I'm a little bit worried about having too many expensive things if we're going to play Where's that card? Dark 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 Star Augur. Um I think Raider can come out. And then I don't think we're going to really be doing a lot of mill. I imagine that this card's always pretty good. But we're not doing too much milling. And I don't want to kill myself by accident with Dark Star. Double Strike Vigilance. Um, whenever this, whenever another creature enters, enters you gain a life. It's a lot of like one one, so Nettle Guard's probably not great. We're not really targeting too much. I think builders blah 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 could probably go. So we're really just trying to go wide and then get our Rotten Mouth Viper online. Destroy target creature. Return up to two target creatures from your graveyard to your hand. It's more of like a Golgari card, but it's possible we want to play it. Don't really think we need to. Kind of thinking like, like really going low. This can go. In centers, choose target non land. Choose target opponent. If they, lo if they lost life this turn, they reveal their hand. Choose a non land card. Blah, 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 blah. Beginning your end step. If you gained or lost life, surveil two. Mice control get plus one plus oh. I guess we don't have a lot of mice. So this can go. This is 
makes rabbits and scries. <clears throat> when this enters, when you sacrifice it, created one one and scry. All right, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. Let's just play it. Let's run it. <clears throat> Not enough time to make decisions. We just need to go. This looks great. Start and lead with our Warren's Elder, clearly. It's the only two drop we have. Cool, they want to trade, that's fine. Let's uh let's play this. I feel like you don't want to offspring this too often to be honest. And we can get them to reveal their hand. Oh, they didn't get their land drop. That's good. Let's swing. Boo. I'm just going to return the two creatures that we have uh, in the grave with the Hazel's Nocturne. May Forge. What is Forge again? XL three cards from your graveyard. All right. Do they have three cards in their graveyard? No. Okay, at the beginning of your end step, if you gain or lost life, surveil one. Yeah, this is a scary card to, like, overload. I'm not going to do it. Maybe I should be, but I don't know. I could just, like, lose a lot of life. I really want to hit them with this Thought Stalker war Warlock here. This doesn't have reach. Okay, um... See what they got. This creates a food. This has flying. This is a kill spell hmm
Let's see what they get up to here. I feel like they're just going to play their intrepid rabbit. Hit that. We'll take four. Sure. I definitely should have played my planes. It's really annoying me. Like, it's annoying the crap out of me that my untapped isn't working. It's really screwing me up. <laughs> Do that we can gain three. I think we just go for it. Just gain the three. Happy to go all in here. Beginning your end step, if you gain or lost life this turn, target opponent loses through life unless they sacrifice something. We're probably going to lose life, so that, that should be good for us. Why aren't they offspringing? I'm so confused. Oh, I didn't even think of that. See, this is going to kill us. This is what I was saying about this dark auger. It's literally just going to kill us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, all right, we do make a bat. I'm pretty sure we make a bat. We lost a bunch of life. What? Oh, you have to gain and lose life? Oh my god. <sighs> well, that's super frustrating. They didn't offspring. Oh, they did. I thought I gained life. I didn't know it was gain and lose life. That's so frustrating. I could have just held back. One blocker. Uh, new format. New format. Ah! All right, this looks good to me. This 
This one just enters. Put a one more counter on target creature and you gain a life. They're just going to say go. I don't know what's worse. These are s both really bad. I guess we have some flyers that we can deal with. Uh, this in the future. Damn. Whenever you, okay. What, So in addition to cost of spell, you may sacrifice any number of non permanent cons for each permanent sacrifice this way. Alright, let's go. Sacrifice, sacrifice, pay. Take the four. Hopefully they don't have any removal. Two blight counters now. Let's kill that. Kill that. We'll play this guy. And then hit them with the good game, I guess. This card's pretty insane. Other frogs have ward one. Whenever this enters, you may bounce it. They get to draw a card or what? No. Whenever this or another creature enters the battlefield, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll just kill their thing again. Yep. Pay the ward. Should I think that should do it. Rotten mouth viper, let's go! Card's broken. <laughs> oh man, my brain is like all fuzzy <sighs> I 
Dark Star, Dark Star. I guess we just have to draw a land, and this hand is pretty good. Let's go bat, batty boy. This will probably get killed. They probably have something, no? I don't know. They're like Boros rabbits. Cool thing is, this doesn't have reach. We get to reveal their hand. And we gain a life. Other mice you control get plus one plus one. When this enters, create a colorless equipment. Other equipment. Mouse equipment. Reach trample haste. Right, let's get rid of that. I guess they get to cast their... Oh no, they don't. Never mind. I was gonna say they get to cast this, they get to like tap on top of land, but I'm mistaken. Hmm. This has frickin' Hmm. Does it have vigilance too? Reach trample haste. Let's just YOLO it. Let's try this. Let's try this with the offspring. This is probably gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> I guess we could double block, right? Could just go like this. I think that seems reasonable. We don't really need the Dark Star. All right, we lost, we did lose life. So we could go, we could go Lunar, Convocation, and Warden. I guess we are going to make a bat this way, aren't we? So we can go boom, boom, because we already lost life, and then we're going to gain life off the duo. That's not bad. I think we double block the attack. Although they can promise gifts.
I don't really mind sacrificing the bat if they want to do that. If they want to pump with their valley, that's fine. Cat Swizzler. We made them make a tough decision, so that's good. Okay. Discard two, sure. Feeling pretty good. All right, revealed card, yada, yada, yada. Um. Let's go like this. Swing these two, they don't have reach. We're gonna make a bat. They lose one, they also have to discard if they wanna discard or not. Discard, discard. One, two, three, four, five. Does anything have reach? No. Now we go duo. And they're going to have to sacrifice something because of the mentor. Make another bat as well. Or discard, I suppose. Probably could have swung with the warden warring guard as well, but whatever. I think this is gonna do it. Bats. Okay, bats two and one. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. This is fun. We got a one drop, two drop, hopefully we draw land. Oh, they're right at the top of diamond here. Don't do it. Don't you even think about it. Get him for one, sure. It's 
get him for three, and then we can check out their hand. Okay. We could kill a creature and a token. Alright, all in here. That's fine, yeah. Just kill both. I'm I'm loving the position we're in here. Man, this guy's actually good. This little one drop is great. I think I have more. I'm gonna add all of them into the deck. Alright, make them lose two, gain two. They're going to be able to kill the duo now, but they're pretty much dead after that. <clears throat> this enters, target creature. Will they get to exile one of our creatures? Sure. Cool. Got him. I hope we didn't stop them from ranking up. But uh, we got there. I mean, we stopped them a little bit. I hope we didn't stop them on their like last tick up. Anyway, three and one. Format seems pretty fun so far. Uh, definitely a big change from Modern Horizons 3. Okay, uh, hand is good. We're on the play again. Opponent Mulligan's to six here. They got their little rock. Oh, I forgot I was going to sideboard in one of those. At the beginning of your upkeep, return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do, put a moment counter on it. Uh, I'm just going to play this for now. Because it's not till next turn that they can do this anyway. So I'll let them play something and then we'll kill this in response. I guess. Yeah, see, we don't want them to do that. Bye bye. So they're in the like frog blink deck, I guess. Is it frog blink? I think we just go mentor for now. Let's say go. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained or lost life, target opponent. What in the world is this?
All right, wait, wait, wait. Reach, as long as you control 10 or more lands, creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever this or another creature you control with toughness greater or pa greater than its power enters, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it on the battlefield. <sighs> okay. Well, we know what we're working with. We know what we're working with. At least we, with the raider, we can block, so that's cool. That's not good. That's not good. They're going right off with the frogs. Bam. Uh, offspring? Gain a life. They lose a life. They lose two life. They lose four life. <laughs> oh, now they're going to lose more life. Hopefully they don't have like a fight spell. What does this do? Uh-oh. Put a counter on target creature you control. That has trample. No blocks. Oof. That was rough. Wait, weren't we supposed to get two things here? Um, sacrifice gain. I'm going to lose some life. Oh yeah, now we can just exile this creature. I don't even know what we're hesitating for. And I think we just go all in and we win. This has reach. How does everything have reach? I'm so confused. What? 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 I can't I can't view the, the match now. Huh? What? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go back and watch it. Let's pause the recording. Alright, I was just tripping out. I I don't know. That was a bad attack. I yeah, it was definitely just I just I I miscalculated. I didn't realize I shouldn't have attacked with the three five. <sighs> that was unfortunate. Really felt like we had that game. You can't, you shouldn't, you gotta be careful. You can't be too confident. This hand's fine. Carrot cake, let's go. Rakdos. No attacks.
All right, let's just get him for three. Dust auger. I don't know if we wanted to play dust auger. I guess he's fine. In for two. D Dust auger, I mean dark star auger. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. I feel like I'm playing like a little bit of a bozo, but that's just expected. <laughs> in a new format. Sure, yeah. It's fine. Begin a combat on your turn target creature. Nice, gotta land. The beginning of combat on your turn target creature control gets plus X plus O oh, where X is this is power. We might want to gain life. All right, let's just play this warden. Elder, and then we can minus two, minus two something in response to their activation. Didn't give hexproof, it just gives indestructible, but we we did minus two, minus two, so. Let's take the four and hope we don't die to our own spell. Ooh. Do we want to sacrifice something? Cost one less to cast, so we could pay four. I feel like we just do this. And then next turn we can Viper. Or we just gain a bunch of life as well as an option. 
I don't know, maybe getting the, the Viper was just smarter. Excel, then we can get him for six or for five. Then we could just play Rotten Mouth. Make a 1-1 one, one and scry. Make them discard. Hopefully they don't have good removal. That's fine. to sacrifice or discard two things now. Make another rabbit. Gain some life. And I think this should do it, right? They might have a way of giving trample, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, very close. Very, very close. But the uh, the Viper comes through again. Cottonmouth Viper comes through again. Bats is looking phenomenal. I feel like it's hard to get into though. Um, yeah, this hand is reasonable. Got some removal, got a two drop. Put him all to six. All right, let's go, Rabbit. Nice Cottonmouth Vi Viper in hand. That's phenomenal.
Man, Savior plus Cottonmouth Viper? Insane. Now we can sack both these things. Play it next turn. Love it. Love to see it. I guess let's keep the removal. Pretty sure we can go cake. Nice, that's a good draw. Off of the trade. Okay, fine. Did not think they were going to do that, but whatever. <laughs> they have anything good in their grave? They've been milling. Oh my god, the game is bugged. Can't literally can't look in their grave, so that's cool. What is that? They have something in there. Come on, game. Can I look at my grave? I can't look at anything? All right. Subscribe, we know we're gonna keep that. Let's offer the trade. We'll pay four. Now they get to decide what they want to do about this. It's kind of good for them being in, in Golgari, but game's bugged, man. Perfect. All right, next turn we can play Starscape. We're at 20 life somehow.
Hey, you leave my little token alone. Why would they do that? Oh, they want to draw? Pay one life, draw a card. Fair enough. Looking for a land. Is my life total 20? I'm so confused. I guess so. Yeah, they haven't done anything, have they? We need a little bit more life gain. We ditched our duo here, which kind of sucks. Boo! Hunter's talent taking down our little flyer. This little guy's fine. Could play him out. We can draw another card if we want. I guess we'll do that. We can do that at any time. I thought it was a tap or like kind of an awkward activation, but apparently not. Glarb. You may look at the top card of your library. You may play land and cast spells with many value greater, greater from the top. Okay, that's kind of good, I guess. Glarb, 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 glarb. Hit him with the year ago. <laughs> yeah. Gain three life if you control a bat. Well, we do act indeed control a bat, so. These guys are just taking so long. Oh, they have their own rotten mouth. Are they going to sacrifice stuff? Potentially. Hello? Contrary to popular belief, slow play is not exciting to play against. Bam, gain three. Kill this thing. We 
We could just make a bat. We gain some life. Kind of like that. I think I'm just going to... Oh, no. This also does it. Never mind. Okay. That dies. Now let's do this. Let's bring back our rotten mouth. Hey. Oh, I didn't... I guess I didn't lose any life. The opponent lost life. So, that's what happened there. Maybe I just wanted to bring back my bat. Everything's so laggy, like I can't click on anything. So I don't know what actually what's wasn't really paying attention. The bat would have killed them though. Turn target permanent. Da -de -da -de -da. I don't know what permanent they're trying to get. I can't see the grave. Arena's broken. This one. Okay. Guess we just make them discard, right? I really like to see into the graveyard, but the game is broken and it won't let me do it. <laughs> okay. But I think they're just dead still, right? They can bring a card back to their hand. They have to sacrifice something. No, we're good. We're, we're really good. Bring this guy back. Now we swing. They need to sack two things. They need to discard and sack. I think that should do it unless they have some kind of board wipe. For some reason we can only see into their grave when they go into their grave. This gets plus one for each other rat you control whenever you attack with one or more rats. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. Looks good. Feels good. Diamond tier 3 in the... Whatever format this is. Five and two. Okay. Decent one drop. We got the auger. We got sonar strike. And uh, removal spell. This looks phen phenomenal. Opponent kept their hand. Personal spoon. Looks less buggy this game. We'll see. In for one, let's play our little Ravine Raider, which I've been meaning to bring the other one in. I think, I mean, our deck seems pretty balanced, so maybe it's unnecessary. Oh, this is the Dark Star, right? Okay. Um. I guess we just kill with kill whatever creature they play on their turn. There goes our little menace guy. That's fine. They definitely should have killed our war warden guard, though, I feel. Seems like a... Oversight. Ooh, we don't have any of these moon cleric bats. They seem good. Alright, let's risk it for the biscuit, baby! I think we got this locked though. Feels like we got it locked. Alright, more flyers. Getting in for a bunch more damage. Again, I kind of feel like we got this locked, but we'll see. Now we have enough to play both Strike Force and Sonar Strike on our next turn. Hey, you leave my little token alone. That was very unkind. Sure. Strike force, baby. I think we can do a little bit better than this Warren Elder, so Let's see what else we can draw. We also get another scry off the carrot cake. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. No, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. If, uh, if they just play a creature, we got it locked.
All right, I'm gonna start by sacrificing gaining life. I'll just swing all. All right. Gain our deal four. We're gonna gain three, so we're gonna six, six back to six. Oh no, to five. And then I guess let's just play our land. Can we lock it up? I don't know. Alright, I guess we gotta discard a card that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Alright, they're gonna gain three. They take one, two, three, four, five. We didn't... Oh yeah, we got him. Aristocrats, baby! <laughs> Alright, six and two. Last game of the draft. Uh, yeah, this hand looks good. Going up against Renegade. In for one. Let's play our Warden. Warren Elder, I mean. Not Warden. Make a 1-1, one, one, scry, land is fine. Yikes. Three, four, five, six, seven. We could deal seven, bring them to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bring them to nine. They would get back for six, seven, eight potentially. That would also bring us to nine.
The race is on, my friend. I only deal seven as well, so that's not too bad. Hey, you leave my boy alone. I don't think we go for any blocks. This, this is the type of deck that just has pump effects. Like we don't come go for any blocks with the mentor here. That would be wrong. We have a bat. So we can start making them. Yep. Why does this have haste? Hmm. We can double block it though. So we can make this a 2-2 two -two with Menace, a double block. One, two, three, or we deal six. I think we just swing for six. And then we'll sacrifice a cake. Get a 1-1. One, one. Uh, this is fine. It's just a blocker. It's fine. And then we can create a food if we want, but we don't need to right now. We need to discard or sacrifice something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, first things first. Kill that. Um, and then Well, let's see. We double block and then kill. This has menace. We just win. Let's double block like this. Do this. That dies. 
I wasn't even looking at life totals to be fair. Besides menace. Let's go. Love it. Love to see it. Hit the trophy. Second draft, 03 to 72. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh yeah, big hype. Um let's look at the deck. Just a little deck review. Rottenmouth obviously got there, like got really got us really far. Um Zoraline, pretty good. Didn't don't didn't see it a lot. Uh, Star Steer Mentor, great. Um, I've always liked this kind of archetype. It kind of reminds me of um, Ravnica Allegiance with the uh, the Orzhov builds in those. There was like I think they were called like throngs, something throngs. And they, uh, I guess this reminds me of those more, the throngs. And then yeah, this really helped. Actually, um, just like the 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 discard effects in general. Unless, unless they discard, unless they sacrifice. What was the other card that did that? I swear we had another one. Oh, it was like Rotten Mouth. Yeah, so Rotten Mouth plus um, the Mentor was great. And then, honestly, the Dark Star Augur ended up being way better in our deck than I expected. Care Cakes are phenomenal. Um, Elders are just decent two drops. Star Starscape's Cleric. This card was great. The One One Menace Raider was great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, deck was just phenomenal. Convocation, great. We ended up getting the 1-1 one, one bat way more than I would have expected, but I think our deck probably had more synergy than this type of deck would have normally. I think we things just came together well for us. Anyway, if you like what you watched, please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. This is Jason's General, and this is our second draft of Bloomboro. Have a nice one. Cheers, and bye. <laughs>